What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Two Guys One Gamepad Gaming Updates and News. With that said, we are covering specifically the 2024 Saint Summer Game Fest that took place back on June 7th, which was a, just a couple days ago from the recording of this. Um, and there's a bunch of other showcases happening, um, or have happened on the 8th and 9th, and I believe on the 10th. So we will cover them as I have time to dive into the information watch the uh either the live stream or the recap and see everything that's coming on so lots of stuff happening but this video specifically as you can tell by the title is dedicated solely to the summer game fest 2024 and there's a lot of games there's a lot of stuff happening so strap in sit down make sure you have some snacks and drinks because this is going to be a long one so hope you enjoy Let's get after it, y'all. Alright, as I say at the intro, lots of games. Um, I counted, I believe it was close to 30, if not more. Um, but we're gonna get into it. So starting off with the first game on this list is Lego Horizon Adventure was officially announced. Uh this is coming to the PlayStation 5. It's actually what kicked off the Summer Game Fest. We're basically revealing brick versions of Alloy and the robot dinosaurs that fans over the years have come to know and love. Um, they even showed some gameplay and that it is more family friendly because it is Lego uh, compared to the actual uh, Horizon Adventures. So if you are big into this series or into Legos, uh, this is definitely something you should check out and give it a try if you have children that you like are big into legos and you know you're looking for the next big thing in the lego world this game should be perfectly fine uh good for them to have and play with and it has a co-op option as well so you can play along with either your friends or your little ones if you want um the footage also tees customizations to enjoy that will be coming to pc via steam and epic game store uh, Nintendo Switch and PS5 this holiday season. So, other than Xbox, it's coming. Uh, but of course, if you have a PC, you're good either which way. So, this one looks to be really fun. The trailer looked really good. I enjoyed it, and I I don't like um, Horizon, just personal preference. Um, I don't like it. But the Legos has always been a a amazing series to play, no matter what adaptation they do. Amazing game either way, so I think Adventure Horizon Adventure is gonna be fun. Uh, next up was Harry Potter Quidditch Champion was officially officially shown and um, said it's being released this year. So this is going to tie them over after the release of Hogwarts Legacy that released last year. Um, Quidditch Champion will launch on PC via Epic Games, Epic Game Store, sorry, and Steam. It's also coming to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox September 3rd, 2024. And of course, as we've seen over the past few years, especially since uh, 2019, 2020, uh, don't bank your money on these dates being 100% solidified. Because as we've seen over the past four to five years, these dates can change if something comes up or they decide to pull it back or push it back. Uh, because of developmental reasons so these are just i consider these soft soft launch dates even with them saying oh for sure just grain of salt take it with that all right next up we have no no more room in hell early access will arrive this halloween no more room in hell 2 is bringing its first person shooter zombie gameplay to early access this halloween gameplay for this gory action Tile revealed brutal combat and gruesome enemies that will stop nothing to take you down. Um, the trailer was actually pretty cool. It highlighted dismemberment mechanics and a handful of weapons. Also teased an eight player co-op in a world of like tons of replayability. So I never played No More Room in Hell. Um, so this one kind of like being a big zombie person. I'm excited for this. Um, I got to go find No More Room in Hell 1 and see how well that played in comparison for when No More Room in Hell 2 comes out. Um, again, early access is Halloween. Next up they had was Star Wars Outlaw. This game, if you if you have not 
been paying attention and you're not within the the gaming sphere you've missed out on quite a bit but this game alone has a lot of um what's the word to use issues surrounding it um from the characters the story to released content on release day to lack of content that will be released on release oh there's so much going on with this that has turned a lot of uh gamers who are big into star wars they have like this was supposed to be an amazing game and when they first sent a teaser trailer for it, it got just blown up people did not like it there was a lot of issues uh, so do with that as you want uh, but this is ubisoft's first crap at crap ubisoft's first crack at an open world star wars game um it's it was showcased um you're gonna play as a new swashbuckling style game um quick cuts a scoundrel centered around sci-fi just like star wars locations for both old and new and you're just gonna be kind of going around the empire it says they'll have more more information to come on this but they did show a trailer right now the outlaws is set to release on august 30th so again i i don't this is one of those games like i want this to be amazing because i'm a huge star wars fan especially the games um i want this to be amazing and they have a lot to live up to especially with uh fallen order being so awesome and so epically done um I think Outlaw, if they fix the issues they, that people point out with the fact like no multiplayer, uh, no PvP, uh, it was just pure PvE, player versus environment. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's, it doesn't show or play out, at least what's being shown in teasers, doesn't play out in the manner of being a single player story type game. It feels more like it should be multiplayer. Uh, so that's one big negative thing I keep seeing around this game is multiplayer PvP. Uh, so we'll see. But this was also one of the games that was highlighted to be a lot more expensive than normal. Uh, it's also one that has started the, the talk about digital purchases being the same price as physical purchases. So if you want to see more information about that, uh, I will try to do an episode purely around star wars outlaws later on uh, especially when we get closer to august and more information gets released but just know there's a there's a lot of stuff behind this one that you really should just go and google so next up uh, civilization revealed their latest game which is civilization 7 it is coming to consoles in 2025 um, the developers behind it, which is Francis Praxis Games and 2K, announced Sid Meier Civilization 7, also known as Civ 7. Um, it's coming to PC and console in 2025. Uh, the project reveal trailer didn't show off any gameplay, but it gave an atmosphere to keep everybody waiting for the next few months. So, come August, though, they will host a gameplay showcase for Sid Meier Civilization 7. So, Stay tuned for that. We'll be back for it, I promise. Um, this is one of the games. This ne next game coming up is... Well, hold on. I mean, I'm excited because I have my notes. Sid Meier Civilizations series in general is an amazing strategy game. Um, it has a cult-like following behind it, but this is one of those like, I try to get into. I want to get into it. I can't. Uh, it's not my cup of tea but i love watching other people play this game this is one of the games that i actively look for on streamers to be gaming uh, playing and streaming because it's the people who know how to play it properly and um elegantly do so so well it's amazing if you haven't seen it go check out civilization six or five or four uh those are my top three just because um there's more to it but i'll do a whole different thing once we have more information about that one what I was going to say before I backtrack, cut myself off. This next game up is one I'm I'm excited for. Uh, if you've ever checked out my streaming channel, Cybermark Sig, you will have noticed or have seen me play throughout the years 
lots of the Dragon Ball franchise series. Uh, and that's going to be no exception later this year when Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is released, which is set for October 11th, 2024. Uh, but the Dragon Ball franchise will continue with uh, frantic Super Saiyan gameplay for PC via Steam, PS5 and Xbox on October 11th. Uh, it's a sp anime spin-off game revealing destructive gameplay for iconic characters that we've known, come to know and love. Goku, Frieza, Boo, Vegeta, and so many more. Um, the footage that was released promised six early characters unlocked for those that pre-order this copy, including another mystery fighter play as well. But again, it's a mystery. More information on this will be coming throughout the summer and August. All right, next up, this game. This game probably pissed off the most amount of people I've ever seen and in one fell swoop i um, mean at least in a long time so batman arkham shadow was announced uh this actually got leaked slash revealed earlier um, before summer game fest and a lot of people uh myself included a lot of people who are hardcore or even like just regular players i guess know that batman arkham series is by far one of the best series out there um and when Arkham Shadow was revealed, it did nothing for the for the series other than piss off all players. Because it is not your typical game, it is in fact VR, virtual reality. And that alone is what ticked off so many people, is the fact that Batman Arkham Shadow, which everyone was so hyped for and they were so excited, like, yeah, this is going to be the best game ever, come to find out it's VR exclusive um definitely like pissed a lot of people off um the footage showed it was a vr spin-off game that was revealed uh the cinemax though i mean don't don't get me wrong it looked it looked good and it definitely brought you into the arkham world of the batman arkham series so it's it looked good it really did uh, and you're going to be having a rat king being the main villain um, tons of Easter eggs are out because that's what happens in these games. However, you became such a, such a niche game the moment you made a VR exclusive. And maybe, hopefully, one day, I don't know, it gets converted from VR to a standard Arkham game. But we'll see. This is just one of those that kind of, it looked fantastic, but it pissed off a lot of people at the same time. I'm still excited for this. I won't be playing. I don't have a VR set. Um, I don't see the I don't, I don't see the benefits of having a VR uh, along with other aspects of it, um, which I can dive into more if you want to know why um, or what I'm talking about because there's a lot more to VR than just purchasing the game or purchasing the equipment and going. There's more to it. So, but this looks fun. Um, it's going to be for the Meta Quest Three. Um, so if you don't have that, of course you can't play again. It became very, very, very niche. I know I've, I've seen people say, well, it's no different than being exclusive to PlayStation or Xbox. You're right. But that's a console that millions of people have. And I know tons of people have VR. I don't know if Meta Quest 3 is the most popular one that's out right now. I know it's, it likely is, but I, I don't know. I'll dive more into that later. I'll, I'll we'll do a whole separate episode with Roggle and I talking specifically about VR. I guess unless we've done it before. Anyways, not a new game, but the official Year Two characters for Street Fighter Six was revealed, and Bison, Terry, Maya, and Elena will be coming to Street Fighter Six this coming year. Um, and it just says the upcoming season is going. To be one classics fighting oh okay that's why i wrote that way god i write my own notes i totally forget what i was trying to say uh but anyways the year they projected projected for the official year two for street fire six is set to be just jam-packed there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going on um in bison look to have a new design on him um so excited to see how they redesign and buy some more clearly inside the game um we've talked about this before i we used to both be 
uh, big in Street Fighter. I want to say me more so than him. Maybe him more so than me. I don't know. He's older than me. Probably him more than me. But the design they went with lately with the bubbly character is just it's, it's a turn off for me. Um, Bloomhouse, known best known probably for Paranormal and other movies. Um, Bloomhouse now has Bloomhouse Games, and they unveiled uh, Crystal Theaters of Idol, Fear of Spotlight, and more. Uh, Bloomhouse Studio, you know, known for Megan, Five Nights at Freddy. There's the other two I was trying to figure out. I'm trying to do this without looking at my notes. It's not working out very well, so hence me looking down a lot. Um, instead of launching new just one video game project, that's what it is. They have several. So um, from the teams, the studio announced a variety of horror games from teams like Eyes Out, Half Mermaid, Cozy Game Pals, Perfect Cabbage, Play Me Studio, and Vermilia. Bloomhouse explained that the goal is set to offer games for more than one kind of player. It kicks off with Fear the Spotlight, which kind of looks good. But other tiles like Grave Season, Sleep Away, uh, Crystal Theaters of Idols are on the way as well. And there, I think there's, that's not six, is it? No, so they have more. So they also announce, uh, was it Fri Five Nights at Freddy 2? I think it's what I just, I, I have notes that said Fri Five Nights at Freddy 2. Uh, <laughs> This is what happens when I write notes and I'm doing other stuff at the same time. Bear with me. <laughs> Power Rangers Rita Re Rita's Rewind reveals new old school style beat em up game. Uh, this one kind of think Nintendo slash Super Nintendo style old school gaming. Um, if you played Shredder's Revenge, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's kind of like that side scroller. Uh, so this one I'm looking towards. This it's just old school. Where you're fighting off putties and other iconic uh classic villains from the original power rangers mighty more power rangers games and movies and shows so uh it, it'll be it'll be fun i'm looking towards this because this is a game or a franchise i grew up on and i really loved it and still do so i'll be playing this uh, it i don't have much for a release date um it was just revealed so it'll be exciting mecha bricks Mecha Break, Ugh, there we go, uh, starts their beta test in August uh, to show off new trailer, which was seen at the festival. Presentation was revealed by, oh, I always butcher his name, so I'm so sorry, Takayuki Yansi, Yan, Yanase, who's from like Metal Gear Gundam on Armor Core, and Juna Ishigaki, I'm so sorry. Uh, known for C Xenogear and Gundam, provides provide their talents to help design this. So it looked really good. Um, will I play it? Probably not. Uh, but also very likely because I'm a big fan of Metal Gear and Gundam. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. That got announced. We also had the first Descendant was uh, was announced. It has a July second release date for PC. Um, via Steam Store, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X slash S. Uh, its trailer looked... Yeah, it looked good. It looks interesting. Um, but that game's going to be set. Again, if you're hanging in there. If you want to see all this, you can... Like, you want to see the actual trailer, you just have to go to Google uh, Summer Game Fest. Again, I will try to link the YouTube video for this entire festival in the description as well so yeah alan wake 2 night spring dlc was announced um so that was shown alan wake 2 is going to get a new dlc titled night spring duh um it should actually be yeah it's already out it was announced on june 7th it released on june 8th so at the time of this recording it's it's out i think that's why i wanted to get this done on june 8th i, I dropped the balls this is june ninth right now by the way when i'm recording it um skate official updates were shown and they're currently play testing on consoles um the skate is a very like old school game thing like tony hawk pro skater uh it's old uh, but they're trying to ea's trying to like relaunch it and bring people back so you can currently sign up to uh basically use a pre pre alpha testing uh, but consoles will be able to hop on that as well versus just pc again no reveal date or anything 
Valorant six, um, or sorry, Valorant, six things were shown and released. The biggest thing about this is Valorant is now coming to console. Um, this is interesting because Valorant has such a solid PC community. Um, and Apex is huge on PlayStation and Xbox, same with like Fortnite and Call of Duty. So it'll be interesting to see how the community on Valorant changes. Um, but uh, we just kind of got to see, wait and see. The beta test for it begins starting June 14th um, with full console launching expected like this year, possibly next year. So is it coming to console right away? Eh? Yes and no. Like it, in terms of like development, yes. Reality, no. Um, they just, there's no expection date. It's just simple beta testing search June 14th. Uh, and it's limited. You should be able to go sign up for it if you have console. Um, Among Us actually showed some clips of their animated series. So that, that, I thought it looked funny in a, uh, the way I've always described it, not describe this, but describe like humor is like family guy humor where it's, there's continuity between all the series, uh, seasons and episodes, but also not. So you don't have to watch each episode to understand what's happening. This has kind of the same vibe of it, it's just shits and giggles and it looks funny as hell. So, um, but in that process of not only showing the Among Us TV series that's coming out, they also reveal that they started a new new uh, initiative called Outer Sloth, which is uh, basically going to help fund and lend hands to indie developers trying to get a break in it. Which is really cool because Among Us came became big during the pandemic. Um, so it's amazing to see something like this come out and actually work properly. So good on them to help other indie studios as well. Uh, Dune Awakening, the trailer was revealed. Um, so this is, what's it? What do I have? It's Funcom's open world survival MMO take on Dune. Dune Awakening appeared... Uh, to show players a closer look on uh, its take on the rule of Paul Atreides. I'm sure I'm butchering that. I apologize. I don't like Dune. Uh, so I never cared, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of, you're seeing his past, his future, and what could have been. Uh, it's expected to launch for PC via Steam, PS5, and Xbox. So, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 was also shown. Off gameplay ahead of its 2024 launch, which is later this year. Um, another, this is another game that had a huge following back in the day, and now they're finally getting Deliverance too. So it'll be, it'll be a good, um, good push for them and for the community that actually likes Kingdom Come Deliverance. I played it once, beat the game, and I honestly can't tell you much about the game anymore because it didn't stick with me. But again, personal preference. Um, there's no official release date, though. It's still expected, though, to come out on PC, PS5, and Xbox later this year. So we'll probably get more information um, further on in summer or August during the next big game festival. All right. We also had Glitterhead, which is a game from the Silent Hill creators. Um, that was shown... And it's set to have a release date of November. This was a weird horror game. Um, I like. I don't have much to say about it. It's, if you're a big fan of Silent, okay. Here, here's my notes. If you're a big fan of Silent Hills. Um, it's basically that game, but with more options and tools to progress. And you'll be able to switch in between the humans and even some animals to get around. It's set to launch November eighth, two thousand twenty-four. And we have Delta Force Hawk Ops. Um, global PC Alpha testing starts July 2024. Uh, it's a first person shooter gunplay. The footage of military shooter takes players to several different locations while showing off being able to cooperate as a team to complete mission. Um, so basically, Hell Divers before PC. Um, and the more human military aspect of it versus futuristic one. 
Killer Bean is set to have early access this summer. Um, the tongue in cheek game, Killer Bean bringing over the top sandbox gameplay to players in the summer. There's more than just killing beans, as expected. This is this is just like a funny game. We also have Wonder Stop got its official trailer release. Um, it's a cozy game with the dark secret type style. Yeah. Um, my notes were life and Wonder Stop seemed okay as we want its protagonist garden, make tea and relax. And a small fairy tale like town isn't over. Um, okay, so yeah. Why did I say human like animal? Okay, my notes are so weird. I, lo I love writing notes and trying to decipher it so many days later. Anyways, this game's coming to PC via Steam and PS5 later this year. Next up, we have New World. Um, Aetherium gets released in October for PC and consoles. Um, New World is Amazon's MMO. Uh, basically, this is just... The, the, the way I understood it, this is like... Not DLC, but a new game. Continuing off New World. Um, set to come out October 15th with an upgrade version of the already existing New World that includes previous release content. So carryover content, thankfully. For example, those who picked up the advanced version of New World can look forward towards a massive PPV or PvP zone in-game solo trials and new change to dialogue system. Uh, if you're new, the New World... If you're new, okay, so if you're a new player, um, this is going to support cross-play between consoles as well, or platforms, sorry. Power World is getting its first new island. Um, if you guys remember, this is a Pokemon with guns type game. Really uh, had so much controversy behind it, but it's still an amazing game. Uh, it's set to come out June 27th. So... It's, I've, I always butcher this name when I was trying to talk about it with somebody else, but it's the Kurojima update is what it's called. Uh, it's again June 27th, so here in just a few weeks or a couple weeks. Uh, but it's going to be a big update, and this is the fact that Pocket Pair was able to partner up with Microsoft for dedicated servers uh, for Xbox and PC, so uh, they're able to go further and faster thanks to this partnership with Microsoft they have. Monster Hunter Wilds was seen. Uh, Cross-play detail for Monster Hunter Wild confirming features will be supported for players on PC via Steam, PS5, and Xbox. Um, new trailer for the latest in the Monster Hunter series revealed an additional it revealed the addition while clarifying cross progression will not be supported. Still, crossplay support is yet another promising update to keep players waiting launch for 2025. So we still got some time. Um, the fact that we still have games coming out that are not crossplay compatible is asinine, in my opinion. Uh, for indie studios, I kind of understand it's a little bit more difficult. But when we're talking about massive game studios, uh, such as like Capcom in this case, it's stupid. It's stupid to say that we don't have cross-play support yet, or we don't have even cross-progression being supported. Like, this is... Uh, it's 2024. Come on. Uh, Path of the Goddess Nabs, July release date for PC and console. Another Capcom game. Um, it's coming out on PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox One, or... An Xbox Series X slash S is set to release for July 19th. Um, Kun Kunitsu Gami, Path of the Goddess um, trailer was released. This is, I would rack this up as a hack and slash on type, but um, looked good. Capcom's became one of those uh, studios though for me that eh, they're not producing amazing products anymore so it's it's hard for me to get behind them and to like oh my god this is so amazing so yeah um lastly and again we're kind of blazing through this because i just want this to be a short update if possible phantom blade zero trailer was revealed um so 
Oh, I gotta read my notes. So yeah, it showed lots of action, high high action, neck breaking details with weapons players can use in their fights against night nightmarish enemies. Um, yeah, it's so kind of like Elden Ring and Demon Souls. So yeah, still no release date. Phantom Blade Zero will reach players' hand thanks to a demo demo world tour. The demo is set to start its round. This weekend, then coming to China Joy in July, Gamescom in August, and Tokyo Game Show in September. So they're going to have three or four more big um, displays of this. So we just kind of got to wait for it. August is the next big video game festival. Um, Gamescom tends to show a lot of games as well. So we will keep up to date with that. There is so just... I did something. My bad. There is so much that took place, and uh, like again, if you want to see the trailers, you want to see all the information. You just kind of gotta go check it out. I will try to release the details down below. We also got to see uh, Call of Duty was there. Uh, Xbox announced that. Was that? Hold on. Was that June seventh? Or I'm starting to mix my days up. No, okay. So, Microsoft, Xbox announced Call of Duty's Black Ops 6. We got to see some of that. Um, we will have cross progression and carryover. They introduced, uh, they're going to bring back round based zombies with two maps coming out. They got to see the Black Ops series uh, for season, not series, season that's coming out. Uh, we got to see that they are supposedly introducing omnidirectional trap uh what do they call omnidirectional jumping and diving so if like you're leaning to the right or you're strafing to the right you can jump and dive and you'll dive to the right same with the left and back and all that um so they also announced or showed gameplay for that and gameplay this is a game that's going to be released day one on game pass um, it also has three tier systems on it for purchasing, uh, but either which one, if you pre-order, you get early access. Uh, the higher tier you purchase, the longer access time you have. Uh, Xbox also now in Gears of War E-Day. So if you're a big Gears of War fan, uh, this is one to kind of keep an eye out for. It doesn't have a release date yet right now, but uh, the big thing is they are using Unreal Engine 5, which if you haven't seen that game, that Unreal Engine being used. I don't know where you've been. Um, it's used quite often now for bigger games. Now uh, we got to see more information about Assassin's Creed Shadows, which is starting to shape up and look very cool and very fun. Uh, we also got to see um, a Valve story trailer get released or shown. Sorry. A Life is Strange. We got to see. We also got to see uh, information more on Flight Simulator 2024, set to release November this year. Um, Fable, we got a little teaser at that. That is set to come out at some point in 2025. Uh, we got to see a uh, look at the new Perfect Dark game, which I have not. I don't remember hearing of Perfect Dark in, in fucking decades. Mm. Um, but it used to be an amazing game from what I remember. Uh, we also got to see, you can kind of like call it DLC, but the expansion of sorts. Vessel of Hatred is coming to Diablo 4. Um, so that's the next major expansion for Diablo coming out October 8th. They released a cinematic trailer for it. We got to see an Age of Mythology retold. Um, this is a game that I like. Um, it's an RTS game. And the fact that it's hitting PC and Xbox September 4th, right before my birthday, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm also super excited for the next uh, segment of World of Warcraft, which currently right now, War Within Beta is going. And if you pre-ordered the game, you have access to it right now. If you didn't, you can sign up and attempt to get access to it. But War, War Within World of Warcraft launches August 26th. Um, it's, a, like, it's going to be slated as the biggest 
uh, arc that they've done in some time. And if you haven't been playing World of Warcraft, like I get it, it's not for everyone. And for those that do play, it's definitely time consuming. You can get lost in it. Just ask Roggle. He knows what I'm talking about. But August 26th, and it's shaping up to be amazing. Dragonflight storyline was amazing. The post game, post campaign, it's all been amazing. So I'm testing out the beta right now, playing. I love it. Um, minus a few bugs and glitches, whatever. Um, so I'm all for it. This is going to be a game. If you want to see more about it, you can, again, head over to Cybermerc City. You can see me testing out um, on YouTube, Facebook, Kick, Twitch, and TikTok. We got to see Fallout 76 first map expansion. It's coming soon and next year. Um, you're slated to be able to play as a ghoul. So I think this has a lot to do with the, the success of the Fallout TV series. So that was fun um, to see. Uh, we also got to see that Starfield is getting its big expansion um, revealed as Shattered Space. It's again coming out 2024. Doom the Dark Ages is set to be launching next year. Uh, this is going to be basically if uh, the latest Doom game that was so well received. There we go. Uh, that's set to come out next year. It again doesn't have any date. But it will be coming to Xbox, PC, and PS5. So that's that's going to be amazing. Blade Runner. A little Blade Oh, sorry. That's my bad. Ignore that Blade Runner thing. Nobody Wants to Die was Showcase. It's often, they compare it to like Blade Runner with Bioshock. Uh, but it's a neo-noir, time-controlling detective story. Uh, but Nobody Wants to Die looked really good. Uh summer showcase was amazing on that one it's slated to come out on july 17th on steam and xbox along with ps5 uh, black ops call of duty will arrive october 26th this is a whole thing in itself it's not going to get much time um i know i touched base on it just a little bit ago we're not going to dive too much into it but it is slated to come out we also got a full showcase for 2000 24 is Call of Duty, 2026 and 2027. Right now, or sorry, we didn't get a showcase of 2025 and uh, 2026 and 2027. What we got was leaks shortly after this. And so right now it's predicting that next year is going to be Advanced Warfare 2. Going to piss off a lot of people with that one. And then 2026 uh, 2026 slash 2027 is going to be slated as Ghost 2, but it's going to be resetting the Ghost series uh which is one of the best series or best games inside the series and franchise uh but it's going to kind of restart it and revamp it from the perspective of um before ghost became ghosts so be diving into that more yeah and Rago and i will talk all about that as times comes um what was the other game uh Cult, oh, that's what it was. Cult of Lamb is getting some updates and massive changes to it. It's also slated to possibly be getting a TV series, which will be funny. Uh, I think it'll be funny. So, but we also got to see tons of trailers for indie games. I don't have the list of games. Unfortunately, I just say indie games popping off this year. Uh... We got a Sonic Shadow Generation coming out soon. Sorry, I had to go through all my notes. Yeah, we already talked about Among Us. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's... Let me double check all my Black Myth uh, Wukong this pre-orders are starting. Uh, game releases August 20th. It's a Chinese developer, Game Science, debuted his trailer. It's an RPG, classic novel, Journey to the West, Black Myth, Wukong. Uh, it showed a little bit of monkey polling, so you're going to be kind of like monkeys slash humans. I think that's all of it. Yes. Is that all of it? Do, do, do. A lot of stuff coming. It will be good times set. 
So there we go. Okay. So, anyways, that's kind of everything that's going on. Slate so right now, we have another game festival, uh, game conference, whatever you want to call it, coming out here in a couple months with more information. That's going to be solidifying the rest of 2024 game release along with early 2025 game releases. And then we should have another gaming conference slash showcase. There we go. Showcase is the proper word. And that one, I believe, is coming out holiday season as well. So we still have two more big ones that are coming through. And we're going to get some uh, solidification on uh, release dates and everything. So stay tuned for that. We'll try to cover that as best we can. And then, of course, stay tuned for our weekly video game updates and patches concerning games like Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, Destiny 2, Apex, any big or not Apex. I take that back because their patches are not weekly. I'm finding out. So it's a big deal. But there's going to be a lot of happening and of course we have new episodes every thursday so stay tuned for all that and if you haven't already before we go make sure you hit the like tap the ever loving crap out of that subscribe button it's completely free it won't cost you a dime and it helps um, and of course it helps you stay up to date and if you do want to be notified you gotta turn that bell icon on bell icon will allow you to be truly notified when we release new videos and updates um, coming out throughout the rest of the year uh, and as more information comes out at big games, we'll have more videos and clips concerning them. Again, we will do a whole deep dive for Call of Duty at a later time, um, along with a pre-release slash post-release type event for Call of Duty. So but until then, thank you all so much for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble on about all this. If you enjoy this stuff, again, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, stay up to date. And if you want to see games being played go check out my personal channel cybermark sig live streaming almost every other every day if not every other day um go check out rog and i every thursday night as we play call of duty and we're just having some fun shooting the shit and everything and causing chaos and mostly pissing people off because you know that's just what i'm best at so go check that all out uh, you can catch roggle on twitch at twitch tv forward slash roggle links listed down below in the description as well and then of course i'm freaking everywhere so go check us out until next time everyone take care stay safe stay healthy and we will see you on the next episode of two guys one game pod till then see you next time everyone.